We're down to just one shopping weekend until it's time to unwrap everything under the tree. Might we suggest blocking out some time this weekend to explore what Caroline County has to offer? The Office of Tourism is ready to welcome you safely and provide you with hometown holiday memories. And if those holiday memories happen to include alpacas, well, it, pretty darn sure those are going to be memories you never forget. Delmarva Life's alpaca Katie Zerilli, alpaca, uh, anyway, brings us to Outstanding Dreams Alpaca Farm to meet a few furry faces and help you see why the county as a whole simply has to be added to your to-do list. I'll bet ya a number of you watching have never been up close and personal with an alpaca. Once you do, though, you'll see they're as sweet as they are soft. They're very docile animals and very easy to be around. Outstanding Dreams Alpaca Farm is one of a few alpaca farms in Caroline County. Phil Lisk and his wife Vicki got started with just three alpacas in 2007. As a little kid, I lived in New Jersey and my grandparents had a dairy farm in Connecticut and that's where my brother and I would spend our, our summer vacations. So I've always dreamed of, of being a farmer, and this was just a, a perfect fit. I mean, my only regret is that I didn't start sooner. They now have 43 alpacas. Vicki was reluctant at first, but now couldn't imagine her life without this big fluffy family. I looked at them and I said, you don't have to have them in the house. You know, they don't have to go in the house. and. I'm just thinking, oh, not another animal, because I really did. I thought, oh, so then we started going to different farms and looking at them, and I just thought, oh, my, yes. It's a happy herd here in Preston. They had five babies born just this fall. This sweet gal right here is Ginger Snap. She's a little more than a month old. She's the youngest member of the herd here at Outstanding Dreams Farm, and she's so soft. I wish you guys could feel her, and I love her. She's a little loud, too. The reason Phil wanted to raise alpacas specifically is because it's a livestock business where the animals produce a great end product without having to be killed. So much of what's in their farm store is made from alpaca fiber, which means it's warm and soft. Basically, just about perfect. It's lighter than wool, does much better when it gets wet than wool does. The socks that we sell, which are about our biggest seller, they're just, I can't say enough about them. It's easy to see how much Phil and Vicki love their alpacas. They know each one of them by name, they know their temperaments, and their likes and dislikes. They feel this love for their county, too. It's a wonderful area, and we really like to uh, let people know that we're here and what we have to offer. Phil is the president of the Caroline Tourism Board. He and the rest of the board want folks to know that they're invited to come to the county to make hometown holiday memories that'll last. Not only can folks come and enjoy themselves, they can purchase a number of unique gifts that support local businesses, especially in this trying time. We have a lot of uh, very small niche uh, shops. It's mostly family owned businesses. The Tourism Board has actually put together a gift guide folks can find online with ideas for everyone on their lists. This year with the pandemic, we're not really trying to draw people from outside our area as we normally do. I mean, that's normally one of our main focuses is drawing people from other areas. This year, it's really about trying to promote local people supporting their communities, uh, and Caroline County has a lot to offer. Outstanding Dreams is just one of a number of small businesses that have taken a tough hit this year. Caroline County has other farms, they've got shops, restaurants, even an arboretum that would benefit big time from your support. It means everything. You know, I mean, we're a small business and, uh, you know, the, the local community support is, is essential. I mean, without it, we're, we cease to exist. So it's, you know, it's not unique to us. It's the same for all of your local businesses. The Tourism Board has also compiled a list of safe and family-friendly events going on through the holidays that you can find online, too. Vicki has lived here since she was six, and she's seen this place blossom and wants that to continue. It makes you feel good to see it developing. Just like it does your heart good to feed, pet, or just watch this rambunctious bunch. You might become just as attached as Vicki. Hard to believe she was hesitant all those years ago. Oh, I love them. It's hard sometimes selling 
you know, there's been some we've sold that I've just cried. It's like, oh man, I don't want him to go. So whether you come here to Outstanding Dreams to purchase goods, a few alpacas themselves, or for a simple farm tour, no, you won't forget your experience. And it's only one of many Caroline County gems that you'll remember for a lifetime. If you'd like a link to Caroline County's gift guide, just head to dumbarvalife.com. So, Lisa, you think uh, Alpaca Katie enjoyed hanging out with the alpacas? Jimmy, I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't take one of those alpacas home with her and it's living in her house right now. Right. <laughs>